Hello everyone. In the previous session, we understood about the compounding. In today's session, we will discuss about delta modulation. Delta modulation is a modulation technique which is improved version of pulse code modulation. We can say because in pulse code modulation, we will be having multiple voltage levels and since we have multiple voltage levels the bandwidth requirement of pulse code modulation will be very high we can overcome this uh, bandwidth requirement issue of pulse code modulation by using delta modulation here an incoming message signal is oversampled that is a much higher rate than the request rate is used to sample the signal and this is done purposefully to increase the correlation between adjacent samples of the signal and then the signal is quantized and quantized uh, quantization is done in such a way that the difference between the input and the approximation is having only two levels namely plus delta and minus delta for example plus one volt or minus one volt if the signal is going in the positive direction or increasing you will quantize the next voltage by plus delta if the signal is going in the negative direction or uh, it is decreasing then you will quantize it as minus delta so there are only two voltage levels you are going to use in delta modulation whereas in pulse code modulation you can have multiple voltage levels that might be one volt two volt three volt five volt different voltage levels were there now voltage is either increasing by one step or it will decrease by one step so it is having only two levels of quantization and uh, the signal here is assumed to be uh, not changing rapidly uh, from one sample to another sample also uh, staircase approximation remains within a plus or minus delta of the input signal okay with these uh, approximations we can have delta modulation for example consider this staircase approximation of m of t m of t is the input signal and the staircase approximation is this one here as the input signal goes decreasing the step size is minus delta if the signal is going in the upward direction or it is increasing as compared to the previous value the step size is plus delta okay as you can see here this value is greater than the previous value at this point in the next sampling interval the signal is again increasing here it is signal is decreasing so the approximation is minus delta so only two levels of quantization is used here plus delta and minus delta and after quantization the encoding is done like this as the signal is going in the negative direction it will be zero the encoded bit is zero here also it is zero because the signal is going down zero and here uh, there is an inconsistency because signal is fairly constant one bit is taken as one another bit is encoded as zero and then uh, from here you can observe again as the signal is increasing there are continuous ones and when the signal is constant you can observe again one zero one here and then signal goes on decreasing from its values therefore we are going to encode the quantized levels as zeros okay in this way delta modulation takes place where quantization plays an important role we sample the signal rate much higher than the request rate then we will quantize it in only two levels plus delta and minus delta and then we will encode if the signal is going in the positive direction as bit 1 if the signal is decreasing then bit 0 another important 
uh, aspect about delta modulator is we need to understand two types of quantization errors which occur when we go for delta modulation one is called as slope overload distortion another one is called as granular noise first one is slope overload noise or slope, slope overload, overload distortion, distortion which, which occurs, occurs when delta is too small relative to the local slope of m of t as you can observe from this waveform approximation the delta is not able to catch up with the increasing m of t or it is too small compared to the local slope of this m of t and therefore there is a large gap between the approximation and the original signal and is called as slope overload distortion this can be overcome if we satisfy a condition the condition is delta by ts must be greater than or equal to maximum rate of change of message signal if this is satisfied then there will not be any slope overload distortion another quantization error of delta modulation is granular noise which occurs when delta is too large relative to the local slope of m of t here you can observe the slope is smaller compared to the delta value and thereby we can observe uh, there is a noise and that noise is called as granular noise to improve the performance of this one we need to make the delta modulator adaptive in the sense that step size is made to vary in accordance with the input signal that is the step size should be adaptive to the message signal it is increasing rapidly the step size should be larger if it is increasing slowly or decreasing the step size should be smaller that way we can cope up with this uh, kind of noise so that's all about delta modulation thank you